Hey Factory family, it's Miss Dina here and I am really excited to be here with you today. So let's get some things um, laid out. Number one, everybody needs to be here. I mean mom, dad, of course the kids, grandma, grandpa, cats, dogs, everybody wants to see this. I'm telling you, they want to see this. If they're not there, share this video. Make sure they know that the factory is about to do something very special. Number two, we need you in the comments, you know, down there at the comments. We need emojis, we need participation. We didn't know you're there because what's gonna happen is after we run this, we're gonna go later on this week and we're going to draw names randomly to receive this lovely t-shirt, Greater Works. 2020, we declared it, it's gonna be a year of Greater Works and regardless of what it looks like, if you haven't seen it, it's coming. We're in expectation. So by, by participating, in the comments, we will be drawing names and we will be selecting people to send the shirt to. I mean, who doesn't want to rep the factory in the UR ministries because those are the ministries that rock, so get in there. Then lastly, you know, the service, you know what we do, spread out, get some space because this lesson that's gonna to come to you is going to be really exciting. and welcome to WFTRY, Channel 5201. I'm Chip Anderson. If this is a special message for our factory audience, school is starting this year and things may look and feel a little different, 
but there are some special supplies that's needed by all in order to get through the school year. In this program, we'll look at Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 20 to determine what the Bible says about having the armor of God. First, let's check on the weather with Sean A. Sean? Thanks, Chip. Sean A here to inform you that today is a good day to have a good day. Now, I want to talk to you about having your shield of faith. See, I got my shield. My shield is with me to cover me wherever I go. It goes with me wherever I go. When I go to school, it's there. When I go outside, it's there. When I go to the store, it's there. Wherever I go, when I go to bed, my shield is with me. I want to let you know, take your shield with you wherever you go. It is with you every day. Keep it on the forefront. Back to you, Chip. Step it up. You're not recording still, are you? Oh, snap. <laughs> Great work out there, Sean, eh? We can build our faith daily by finding verses that apply to what we need to build or even ask God to increase our faith. Now to traffic with Tracy Traffic. Thanks, Chip. That Chip, he's so handsome. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm here today to talk to you about the traffic. That's right, that's right. Even though people are still at home because of quarantine and all this craziness going on, there's nobody in school. The people on the roads, they're cool, they're calm, it's clear. But you know what, it is kind of windy. It is very windy, so I brought out my helmet. Where did I get this from? I got it when I got saved. I got it when I got saved. When did you get, when did you get yours? It helps me keep my mind focused on Christ. Make sure that you have your helmet to keep you focused on the things of God, all right? It's windy out there. It's not just for windy days. It's for every day, everyday life. Keep your helmet. Don't look at me like that, Chip. <laughs> Sorry, I get nervous when Chip looks at me. Yeah, so keep your helmet. It's gonna keep you focused on Christ. Back to you, Chip. Let's not forget, Jeff, great suggestions about getting that helmet of salvation. No, actually, I believe that was not Jeff that spoke on that a moment ago. It was uh, Tracy Traffic. So thank you, Tracy Traffic. I apologize for that. Um, great suggestion about getting that helmet of salvation. Now, let's get ready for some recipes with Allison Mentor. Or, is that Mentor or Menton? Is that an R or an N? R. Allison Mentor. Thank you. Put this on right quick. Now with the breastplate of righteousness, I am made right. Now every day there are multiple temptations that try to come at me to get me off track. But with the breastplate of righteousness, my, this guards my heart. Now let's go ahead and get this sandwich. Let me get my bread. I got my peanut butter. Now I'm about to go ahead and spread this up here. Now I'm not going to use a regular old knife. No, I got this. Now this is the sword of the spirit. This is the word of God. Like a soldier, I can use this sword to attack someone who is trying to attack me or to attack anything that's trying to threaten me. Now on to Chad Johnson. I'm on, I'm on the air. Why y'all ain't cue me in? Just not one cue. Man, you know, being that we haven't had sports in a while, <laughs> you know, Wow. So I want my special belt, you know. Good good luck belt here. It's so pretty. It speaks a lot of truth and it's awesome. So, you know, and his word that I know of his word, then I can identify the lies of the enemy. 
so uh oh oh my bad sports sports right right uh the books got brady the books got gronk did you see my shoes when i came in you, you see these shoes not only do they look good but they operate the peace of god that keeps me standing firm and anchored in god's word and jesus teaching so Thank you for letting me come to you for talk to sports. Back to you, Chip. What was I doing in here? I lost my phone. Yeah, I'm on the news, mama. I made it. But we didn't cut. No, I was just gonna get me on the L. All right, here we go. I haven't looked at this one yet, so I don't know if I'm gonna do it right. Here we go. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> it's great to hear from some of the kids to see how they're doing. They're getting so big and we are all really missing them. <clears throat> Let me do that one again. My voice broke up a little bit, just a little, a little, a little shaky. Here we go. They are getting so big and we are really... <laughs> <laughs> here we go here we go here we go <laughs> thanks Chip. ralph cunningham you're on the beat reporter here out here speaking to your kids today our babies have a mind of their own and being that they're back to school now we want to give you an insight as to what they're thinking about as the start of their school day so let's start with a few questions. First of all, what we want to know is what was the best part of your school day? The best part of my school day is reading. Okay. Now, if you would, tell me what is the hardest part of a school day, especially now that you're virtual. The hardest part of the school is the school, of the school day is um, reading. Ah, interesting. Because yeah. yeah. Um, there's a there's a lot to read. There's a lot of stuff to read, and I'm not v very good at reading the the words that's on the paper. Okay, okay. Now, can you tell me what an easy subject of yours that you may want to talk about, and why it's so easy? Um, the the easiest subject is science because my teacher she really likes science. And I like science too, so we have like kind of like that thing in common of science, so that's easy. Now, what about that hard subject? What is that real hard subject you just really don't like? And I'm talking about the subject, not the teacher, the subject, and tell me why. For me, it's math. I've never liked math. Nah, mm -mm. nah. Because I'm not that good at math. I like reading more, but yeah. So now that you're home, tell us what rules are different in school as opposed to at home. What kind of rules are different? What are you doing at home that you wouldn't normally do in school or right? that you would do in school? Um, I have to wear a mask. That's one of them. Um, I um, have to stay farther apart from people. Can't move as much as in at home. Um, Instead of being able to go to the bathroom when I, when I need to, we only have two bathroom breaks. And, yeah. Hmm. Now, do you think that's fair? Um, yes, because it's in sharing our safety from COVID. Okay. We got the school part out the way. Now, tell me, what is it that you will miss most about your summer break? Um... Being able to sleep in. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed that too, actually. I have to wake up earlier so that my mom can get me to school on time. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And family, that is exactly what's on your children's mind now. So remember, you have to encourage them. You just heard what they said. Make sure you encourage them babies, okay? All right. Chip, back to you. Nice haircut too there, buddy. I apologize, I should have read this before. I'm a little ill-prepared, as they say. All right, so Ephesians chapter six, 
from verses 10 to 18 in the Easy Reader version as we take a look at wearing the full armor of God. Verse 10 tells us, To end my letter, I tell you, be strong in the Lord in His great power. Wear the full armor of God. Wear God's armor so that you can fight against the devil's clever tricks. Our fight is not against people on earth. We are fighting against the rulers and authorities and the powers of this world's darkness. We are fighting against the spiritual powers of evil in the heavenly places. Verse 13 tells us, Th That is why you need to get God's full armor. Then, on the day of evil, you will be able to stand strong, and you will have finished the whole fight, you will still be standing. Verse 14 tells us, So stand strong with the belt of truth tied around your waist, and on your chest wear the protection of right living. On your feet, Wear the good news of peace to help you stand strong. Verse 16 tells us, And always use the shield of faith with which you can stop all burning arrows that come from the evil one. Accept God's salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the Spirit. That sword is the teaching of God. And verse 18 tells us, Pray in the Spirit at all times. Pray with all kinds of prayers and ask for everything you need. To do this, you must always be ready. Never give up. Always pray for all of God's people. Let's go ahead and just jump into prayer. Uh, just thanking God for His love and just for thanking Him for keeping us safe during this time. Lord, we come before you to say thank you so much for your love. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your protection. Lord, we know that this school year may seem a little different than what we've experienced in the past, but we know that we are putting on the full armor of God and know that you have got us covered. We pray for all the children, teachers, parents, and families. We pray that you keep them covered um, and you help guide them, Father God, during this time. We pray that you provide them with strength and allow us to continue to keep a positive attitude, Father God, and keep our focus on you at all times. Less of us, more of you, none of us, and all of you, Father God. We give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. Amen. I like jelly donuts. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, today was a very nice and sunny day. Did you see that? Yeah, y'all did. Yeah. Enjoy your day. Hey, thank you for so much for doing such an awesome job. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, yes, I like that. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, a little breezy. Huh? Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs>